Hi everybody, um, so this is really exciting. Um, I can't wait to try this. What we're looking at here is the LT5C. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this is a toner-based label printer. It is still a label printer, so very much uh, in the same vein as our inkjet printers. But this prints with a toner uh, a system instead of a wet ink-based system. So very much like the laser printers in your office, so to speak, with the exception of some really cool things that make this very different and make it uniquely, um, uniquely positioned for label printing. And uh, a couple of those things are, so the speed is about five inches per second. It's pretty quick. Um, but the other thing is you can print on some different media types and additionally, you can print with white. So you are able to lay down base coats. You can print with white, but you can lay down a base coat of white to achieve some really cool effects on some different kinds of media that you would not typically or never uh, be able to achieve on an inkjet printer. So for example, uh, black vellum, check this out. So this is a, a, a label black vellum, kind of really cool, like, I don't know, bottle jar labels for products, right? Um, we've got metallics like this. So you can kind of see the glistening I'm just gonna show the specular highlights in the lights there, that's pretty cool. And then we've got actually clear, uh, true clear labels um, you can see there. So really, really cool stuff. I love this printer. It's a lot of fun in terms of what you can produce on the labels with this machine. But what we're gonna be talking about today is a little different from labels. For some reason lately, we've been getting a lot of calls, and I do mean a lot, a lot more than I would ever expect. We've got customers that are requesting to print on wet activated tape. So this is the tape that you typically see on a packing box that comes out of a warehouse. So it's very durable. Um, it's got strings in here, if you can see that. So most people are, have seen this at one time or another. If you haven't worked with it, you've probably received a box that has this kind of tape on it. But a lot of customers, they wanna customize this. So they wanna put their logo on here or a saying or their phone number or whatever it might be. And traditionally, we have told people not to use this in an inkjet printer, primarily because our inkjet printers are wet ink based, dye based printers, and this tape needs to be activated with water, which introduces a potential durability issue. So this is going to go through um, a wet ink activation process, a machine or something, or, or you can lick it. Just kidding, don't lick it. Um, but one way or another, this has to get wet before you can apply it to the box, and that creates a problem with wet ink printers. We are going to um, try this on our LT5C because we have had uh, several stories of, of other Finia partners that have tried this and had success with it. We do have several customers have asked for it, and hopefully we can make this work and um, get them finally uh, a product that they can uh, run their wet activated tape through. So I'm not sure why I'm tossing around like this other than that I'm super excited to try this. Uh, so let's dive right in and check this out. So we're gonna open a new uh, Illustrator. We're working with Illustrator here, but you can work with any uh, design application you want. We're gonna set the unit of measure to inches because we want to uh, set this document to be the exact um, width of the tape and then whatever length that you decide to make it. So in this case, we're gonna use that um, two and seven eighths equivalent, uh, dec decimal equivalent, 2.875. And we're going to set our uh, our tape length to 12 inches. We're just going to set an arbitrary length of 12 inches. So we want our design to um, basically be that uh, two and seven eighths inch by 12 inches long. So we're going to start bringing the elements of what we want printed on this tape onto the document itself. And so we're going to start with the logo. We want our logo to be on the tape. And we're going to add a little text as well. I want uh, to actually put the website, uh, the Chicago Color Label website on the tape along with the logo. Then we're going to adjust the size of the font so that it fills the tape a little better, a little more visible. We're going to save that file off to a PDF. First, I'm going to save the AI file here. I always like to save the raw uh, artwork file just in case. 
even though the PDF saved out of Illustrator is or should be an editable file in Illustrator. I like to save both of those, it's just a preference of mine. And I save it as high quality, again, a preference. That's entirely up to you what format you save it in and how you save it. Now we're opening the file just to, to view it on the screen, shrinking it down just to fit properly on the screen. And at this point, we're ready to print this. And we're gonna select the LT5C from our list of printers. Um, and we're using the PCL driver for this particular uh, case. We're gonna set up a new user-defined paper. So click New Paper. We're gonna name it. You can name it anything you want here. Keep the media type at plain and the media weight uh, around medium light is fine. Paper length is 12 inches, and again, our paper width, we're gonna round up, and we're doing 2.88 for the paper width, just to round up. And then go ahead and save that paper size, and it should be now a selectable in the paper settings dropdown here. So with that selected, we're gonna click OK, and now we have a good representation there on the right of the label. We're gonna select three copies for this test, and we're gonna go ahead and send that print job to the printer. Okay, let's go see how it looks. So there you go, wet activated tape printed with the LT5C. Look at that. That actually exceeds my expectations. Um, the color is super vibrant. Uh, the, the saturation is great. There's a little bit of a glossy effect to it. It stands out incredibly well. So this is a really great uh, value add for this printer. Whether you're printing your own labels already, and you can use this for um, some self-promotion when, or some marketing when you're doing uh, uh, shipping for customers, this is awesome. Or if you're printing labels for other customers, and this is possibly an add-on to your, um, uh, your portfolio, right? So instead of just producing labels on this, you could uh, add this um, to the number of products that you're providing to your customers. So this is pretty awesome. As we continue to find uh, new ways to use this and also um, continue to test wet activated tape a little more, we'll post that in the comments or the uh, description of the video over time so you can uh, keep up with what our findings are. The uh, consumables on this, something uh, like this might be um, a little high, but it really depends on the price tag uh, you know, that you put on marketing. This could be a really valuable way uh, to market products uh, with your customers. And of course, if you are printing these for other customers, um, you can, you know, tout this as a full color, beautiful, clear, uh, high quality solution for wet activated tape and price that accordingly. So of course, the last thing we have to do here is actually test this to make sure it stands up to the water. Um, and to do that, we have to get this back wet. So what do you say we head out to the office and see if we can convince somebody to lick this tape? All right, let's go. Lisa? Lisa? Yes? Can you help me with something? Sure, what do you need? I, can you lick this tape for me? No, I'm not licking the tape. Well, I, I just thought maybe you could help me out. I did all the other work on it. I just thought maybe you could just nope. lick this tape right for a second. Nope, working, bye. All right, strike one. Julie? I heard you, I'm not gonna lick the tape. Oh for two. John, if you ask me to lick that tape, I'm calling HR. 